Hi everybody, it's Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook and I'm here for another Friday Reads. It's Friday! I get so happy when it's Friday. Even thinking about it last night, I was like, oh, tomorrow's Friday. I get so excited. Um, so first off, something that I don't always talk about, but I wanted to make sure I didn't forget in this video is I wanted to thank people that subscribe to my channel. And I really want to thank the people that comment, especially because I, I do look forward to them. And I also want to apologize for not um, commenting or replying fast. Like uh, literally I'm making this today, Friday, and I still have to probably reply to last Friday's comments. So I really, I'm usually not a week out. It's usually several days, but don't think that's because I don't like, like or appreciate the comments because I truly do. Um, every single one of them and I um, um, I just I'm not on right now I'm working on a project I'll talk to you guys about hopefully in another week or so and um, so I've been really busy so I haven't been able to get on there and really do that because when I do reply you want to take the time to actually um, you know read and, and reply and so and some of you know I get kind of wordy even in my replies so that's just me but happy Friday I hope you guys are well sunny here today. I think tomorrow it's going to be uh, sunny but rainy, but that's fine because the snow is melting and it's, it's wonderful. I'll take it. Um, okay, so we are in February and I'm so sad because Black History Month is almost over and you know, I love, I love that there's more activity that occurs during this month. So it gets me sad when it's ending because I know that they'll be cut short again until next year. Um, but let's take a look at my February TBR. Okay. So let's talk about the positives, right? The positives. Finish my classic James Baldwin, The Fire Next Time. We'll probably just do a quick um, uh, a book chat on this one. So I will talk about that more then. I finished A More Perfect Union. You guys remember that from Terry Huff, which was the read along for the hashtag Read So Lit with Dee Dee. And I loved it because she picks the best book. So that's just, uh, was easy. Okay, um, let's talk about a fail. <laughs> Cast never happened. Sorry, I'm chiming now. Um, I just didn't have time. I didn't have the time to do it. it and I'm, str I'm struggling to finish these books, so I don't know why I thought I was gonna do it. You know, I guess it's good that I that I aim high, but oftentimes <laughs> miss. So this one will have to be put off until a later date when I can commit to it. But I'm glad that I have it, and I know that I'm gonna enjoy it and learn a lot from it. Um, okay, so here's the Cicely Tyson book, Just As I Am. And we are now about the halfway mark, but I am feeling like I can plow through this weekend and be done by Monday, Tuesday at the latest. So it will only cut in a little bit to um, my um, uh, March reads. So um, it's getting good. As you can see, I'm starting to put some of the flags in here are some really nice quotes that she says. Um, I definitely want to do a book chat about it. I really like it. Um, and I'm glad that I'm reading it and I'm glad I'm reading it this month. Um, but if you don't get a chance, I think next month is Women's History Month. This would be a great one if you guys can get it. I think that now you can get the book now. I, I think it's easier to get it a little bit now than it was. Um, but this would be a great one for anybody to read for Women's History Month. It, it's, it's really good. Um, yeah, because I heard that there's, you know, there's a little bit of a, a slowdown on that. My secret book, um, well, there were two secrets. One got dropped um, and moved, but the other one, I'm almost done with that, and I will reveal that when I finish that one as well. So I'm, I'm making progress with that. But I also wanted to share with you guys today, I have, um, I went with my husband, um, a little book shopping, just a little bit. It wasn't, we didn't even intend to, but we went to Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble. COVID, you can't really do much of anything. And I mostly buy my books now online um, from independent booksellers and Amazon and, um, and other sellers. So it's a treat to go inside of a bookstore. And so we, we went um, to 
Barnes and Noble this week. And I have to say, I don't know. I know that Barnes and Noble has been, Barnes and Noble, I'm sorry, has been struggling, but this time it really looked sad. Um, they are rearranging the store yet again, which is always, they're constantly reorganizing. Um, they've already reorganized it for COVID. You can tell because they've opened up the spaces so there's not a lot of nooks and areas where you could be in close proximity looking at a book with another person. So that's good, but they are moving things too fast for the labels. So you'll be up here and it'll say science fiction and underneath it is graphic novels. And then I, I, I took a sweep through the entire store with the exception of the kids, the, the little kids section, um, and just looked at books and I took some pictures of some covers of things and stuff that I liked. Um, but, um, it's hard to say like what's happening with them. I know that they're struggling. So I did go in there and I did buy something because I didn't want to leave without. So when I bought at Barnes and Noble were two things. One is, I know I talked to you guys a little bit last week about my journaling and how I now I've changed it a little bit to kind of like writing a title as a prompt to kind of allow for more free flow in writing. Well, there's this company here that I've always seen these books and they're just absolutely gorgeous. And they have a series of different ones called 52 Lists. And so I figured I was going to buy something to support Barnes & Noble. So I, um, I bought one. And the one that I picked and I felt resonated with me at this time is called 52 Lists for Bravery, Journaling, Inspiration for Courage, Resilience, and Inner Strength. And the cover is just... And you know what I love about it? It's got a... Um, I don't know, kind of a rough, a little bit of a rough texture, but the picture is on it. And, and what's really cool about it is, let's see, let's see, is that um, the pictures inside this are so beautiful. Like, I'll see if I can find some of the really pretty ones, but they're just really gorgeous. Um, and so, you know, you're writing and you have these prompts, right? And then you have, uh, you know, gorgeous photography in between. And it has a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but a really beautiful suede um, bookmark that, you know, you can put in there. So anyways, it's 52 lists is basically, it's 52 prompts. And I thought um, this in conjunction with what I'm doing in my other journal will be kind of fun to do. And I'm not going to make it that I have to do this every um, week. I'll do it maybe or every day rather, I may do it once a week, I'll, you know, or maybe I'll do it every other week, we'll figure out how frequent, but one of the things that I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to write in here. I am very <laughs> uh, strange that I don't want to write and ruin the book, so I'll write it in another journal so I can keep the prompts, but I think I'm definitely going to just, you know, let go, write in the book, and if I want to use the prompts again, I can read them and then just transcribe it into a journal. So, um, so this is what I got this and then I am a big fan of Studio Ghibli and I love their movies. I collect them and I watch them and they had this really cute, it's a, a card, uh, a deck of cards and on the back of the cards it has different images from different movies and I've been eyeballing it and I kind of wanted to get this but I was like, ah. so I was like, okay, this is the day to do it because I, I don't want to walk in and not buy anything. So I ended up getting that there. And then oh, I got two different books. So I know I've talked to you all before that I do like to garden. I love it. I have a flower garden and I have vegetable beds. And um, so I saw this book and I have a lot of reference material with regards to gardening. But this book I kind of like because it was, um, it contained not too much information, but just the right amount about various vegetables, about composting soil, soil treatment. Um, it talked about pests. And this one is the far, the Old Farmer's Almanac Vegetable Gardener's Handbook. So that's what it looks like. And what I like about it, it's, it's all, there's all pictures in here and in with each one. So for example, it'll talk about, this one's tomatoes. It, it breaks it down into like care, pests, Harvard storage recommended varieties, which is great because you get into the store and you get so many things. And I also do seeds as well. 
and you're like, okay, well, which one should I get? They talk about all of those different things. And then the other thing that they do really well in here is they talk about pairing um, your vegetables, which a lot of people um, don't talk about as often, but you have to be conscious of what you put near another, which plants you put together for them to be successful. So this has the, the do's and the don'ts. And it's great because I can kind of change. Um, I, I rotate my beds each year. And so I can change that up to according to the pairing. So I'm excited about this one. So this one I got at um, Amazon. Very good. And then this one I'm so excited about. I heard about this one. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I saw this on Instagram. And then I saw some other advertisement talking about this, but this book is called 400 Souls, A Community History of African American from 1619 to 2019. And it, it, it's edited by Ibrahim, Ibram X. Kendi. Um, and you probably are familiar with him. And Keisha N. Blaine, um, he did um, How to Be an Anti-Racist, and she did Set the World on Fire. Um, and... I am so excited to read this. I think it's going to be so good. It has, he's basically compiled 90 different authors um, and they are taking 400 years of history, starting with the first Africans brought to um, North America. Um, and he gives each person a period, I think of a hundred, no. It'd be, they get each of them. I don't know if they get a period of a hundred years because that would be wrong. Right? But each of them get to take, yeah, an aspect of that history, and they'll bring it forward um, all the way until the present. Um, and I just think it's a different approach. Um, you, you know, you I read I read things and I read um, they're disconnected, and so I want to see how this turns out in terms of kind of giving you a, a timeline of things and. I'm really excited. I think the first person that is in here, I think so, that writes the first essay is, I, I remember talking about the 1619 Project, um, and I believe she is the first one, I think she was the editor of it, I think she's the first one to do the first essay. But it looks so, so good. Um, I read um, just like the first paragraph, and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm going to get it. And it's a chunker. But I think because of the way it is, you can read and set read it, set down. So I'm looking at this and I'm going to say, Alba, if you're watching, I know you need to get it too, if you don't already have it, because <laughs> I found someone I know she's going to like as well. Um, and just a lot of um, information and it's really gorgeous cover too. So that was the other book that I got. So that was my haul. I will come back with you guys to... Um, talk about my plans for March. I'm going to do March Mystery and Women's History um, Month. It's March, right? I forget things sometimes. But I, um, so I have some books and, you know, ideas of what I think I might want to read. I'm going to hunker down on Cicely Tyson today and for the rest of the weekend to get her done by the end of Monday. And my, um, my secret book as well. That one is, 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 it's a small one, so that one should be able to be done. The one that I failed on also for you guys that I said that I was gonna read this month was this one. I thought I was gonna be able to get it this week and just kind of plow through it, but I've been working, like I said, and so I haven't been able to dedicate extra time to do this one. So um, I may push it into my March. I don't know, because I have some books I had in mind to do it, um, but, I'm going to get to this book because I do want to get it. And I, and I think it's, you know, uh, I'm curious to see how they um, convey the aspects of um, the Tulsa massacre. I want to see, you know, how they entwine it in the story and, um, you know, how much, how much they can do with it. So we'll see. So that's the other one. What are you guys reading this weekend? Are you ready for the weekend? Are you having good weather? I, I think, our, like I said, a little rain tomorrow, but that's good. It'll clear away. Um, it's really strange. We're supposed to be having, you know, snow, not rain. And everybody's weather is so strange. So we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> I keep waiting for like, okay, the, the, a big, huge snowstorm must be coming what, that we're getting all this preparation and cleaning and getting excited about warmer days. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will, I will reply to your comments.
I'm sorry it takes so long, but please leave comments and I will talk to you next time, next week.